Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and welcome to episode 6 of Stellaris. Oh, wow, all sorts of stuff are going on, so let's check our various colonies. We have upgrades we should apply. We have a new population here, so actually I think I'm going to start building a mine. That'll help. Uh, that basically will give us more, more minerals. We want to improve our mineral production rate because we're really being gated on that. I need more minerals to build more ships. I should also take a look at this city or this planet here. Look, there's all sorts of stuff that we have not upgraded here. We need, ah, oh, we need more money to make that, but that's fine. Oh, let's let the time run forward. I keep pausing and forgetting. Once we have enough, there we go. We shall build a hydroponics farm here just to make sure that we have enough food. Because we do have enough food, and the food constrains growth. Uh, we have a mine here. We could build a power plant that will cost us... Complete. Oh. Yes, ah, yes, we get two spaceships. So again, I need to collect these fleets into one. You're going to join this fleet. Blim Den Palosh has survived his many conflicts. And now, now we will rebuild the fleet with the mineral wealth of our empire. One day, one day, we shall return to the pirates' home system and we shall show them that they do not, they do not meddle in the Agarian Empire. They do not rebel. Okay, so, food, food, food. See, the thing is, with all of these squares, it's best to, to build something on a square that will reinforce what's already there. If you build something else, you potentially lose uh, stuff that's already on that square. So, you know, we can put anything we like here, but if we put anything other than food on this square, then we lose it. There, this area is kind of focused on food, unfortunately, so I guess we really need to try and exploit these other regions. This would probably be a good one to put some, uh, to put, uh, like a power station on. When I get, when I get it. So, power plant. Just wait for this to actually happen. Now, meanwhile, this project here fleet is happening. Requires a science ship. So my science ship should actually be investigating this now. Oh, what's it doing? Why aren't you surveying this system? I should figure out why are you not surveying this system? Uh, I guess this system has already been surveyed. And it didn't tell me. Oh, there it is. It told me it was there. Uh, can I survey this? I do not have border access. Can I get here? Yes, I can. Of course, there's a real danger here that if the... If these guys, what do you call them? The United Valdari Worlds. If they take control of one of these worlds in the, while I'm over here, I will have to go the long way around to get home. So we could have a real Voyager kind of thing going on here. I had it in another game and it was quite enjoyable, but all the same, it would be nice if I didn't have to worry about it. So anyway, this special project is being is being uh, checked out now, so I can go to it. We have our science ship. He's analyzing this debris in space, and when we get it, hostile fleet we will detected. find out Evading all about our spacecraft. Fleet. Okay, We're, who's evading the hostile fleet? Oh, there's another space amoeba here. That is unfortunate. Could you not go there? Why don't you go there instead? Yes. Evading hostile fleet. Ah, you know what? I need to change his fleet stance to passive. And there he's going that way. So what I've basically programmed the fleet, previously they were set to evasive, which meant if they saw any hostiles, they would turn tail and run. That can be a problem. But I guess, I guess when we get to this star system, we'll be able to turn around again. So who else is doing evading? Yeah, these are both doing the evading. Oh, we got an amoeba here. Not an amoeba, uh, an amiga. No, it's an amoeba. It's definitely an amoeba. Uh, but an Amiga would surely be a formidable foe with its amazing multitasking abilities and 4,096 colors, some of them even available on, on the same screen at once. Uh, yeah, the Amiga was probably one of the finest computers of the 1980s. So we've analyzed the debris in Dorfil, 
We found about I found out about nanocomposite materials, physics research, and engineering research. Now, research complete. So one of the nice things about this is that we now have okay, we've now got solar panels, but we actually should get access to some of these features. Okay, deflectors. Let's start building deflectors. Debris analyzed. We've already done that. Hostile fleet. It's these guys again. Please don't attack me. These are pretty awesome ones. Their their power is 452. Also, they have this really cool flashy thing. Sight ship Macander. You're done. Oh, there you go. Situation We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Mona. Monokidior system. These strange objects have been flagged as Theta aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Yes, we shall. Okay, so... Not surveyed. We should... No, I don't want to do... Let's survey this system. We will probably evade things, so I'm going to go there and then just do passive, but I need to keep an eye on these guys, because it's possible they will do the wrong thing. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, these guys, let's take a look at them. Monocuter. Uh, oh, get out of here, get out of here! Get out of here! That was a really bad plan. Uh, retreat, retreat! Two days until emergency FTL is ready. Get out of here! Okay, you see, that was one of the dangers of being in <laughs> evasive mode. Oh, wait, it's no, no, passive mode. Okay, and then we need to move the heck over here right away. Um, you, get out of here. We need you to head home. We need you to head all the way home, in fact, so we can repair you. Don't mind me, that's what's going to happen. Let's just see the status of this ship then. Is this the one? Ah, oh, it took a lot of damage here. Oh man, that was, that was unfortunate, but we live to fight another day, unlike the crews of many of our other spaceships. And I've completely been forgetting these planets here. So, how are these guys doing? These are doing fine, and these, we should definitely build stuff in places. Let's build a, a science lab here. That'll do good. There we go. And that leaves us 79 minerals. Definitely need to start building up our stuff at some point. But the construction ship, what's my construction ship doing? My construction ship should probably build something around this world here. Has it got... We can build an oh we can build an observation outpost. Ah, a planet has no post. Wait, oh no, I can't do that. Sorry. What I'm hoping for. Oh, we've already got a mine here, so we don't need to do that. What I'm looking for is a place where I can put a mine. Okay, and you move here. Hostile fleets are just annoying me, but not really doing anything important. You are just moving through the system. Oh yes, so now now I have to be careful because if this thing runs into that, then it will be it could potentially be attacked. This is like a gas cloud. I wonder if I study it. So these guys, if I select, yeah, they're gonna pass near to this. I could just select to check these plants out one at a time. But what I'm gonna do is prepare to turn tail if necessary. This cloud may not do anything to me. It might just be there. Or it might potentially be bad. We're gonna find out. Don't mind me, I'm just, you know, in your system, scanning your planets. Oh, under attack! Retreat, retreat, retreat! Get out of here. I figured that. Oh, wow, it's doing the lightning thing. Two days until emergency FTL is ready. Put as much distance between us and them as possible. We need to build a military fleet to take on these things. Okay, well that was kind of predictable. We kind of knew that was going to happen. 
So I should instruct these guys to repair themselves, and I should instruct my backender ship to repair themselves as well. No! Construction ship! Where are you? We need you to exploit the minerals of this world, of this asteroid belt, because we need more minerals. We need all the minerals in the solar system. You're doing fine. These guys... Yeah, these guys will do fine when the time comes. I don't have the ability yet to clear massive glaciers because I need to develop the technology. And that will happen, no doubt, over time. Oh, yeah. And we did have a world out here. Yes, the world of Azax. Azax 2A. How big is it? Oh, this is a really tiny world. But it would be... may not be the best place to go. i got to find some more habitable worlds. Now, as I said previously, one other way to get to deal with... or to get access to habitable worlds is simply to uh, uplift a species which has the ability to, to colonize these planets. Nave 2, that's another one. Oh yeah, that's where we need to go. We need to send someone to Nave and we shall take control of all these things. So I'm going to build a little more in the way of minerals. And then I think definitely I'm going to start, once I get deflector screens, that will potentially make me a more sturdy fleet. Complete. Here you go, construction complete here. Stashy. And I should clear this. Clear this. Yes. You. Uh, 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 uh. I'm just wondering, do I really need more food? How am I doing in terms of food? I've got four food. So if instead I build a generator here, still need a little more. Yes, there, we're going to build the... Where's it? Power plant. And you can move you there. So we'll get extra power. Power is good to have. Whereas the, the other stuff is less useful. I mean, having... Have, basically, food can only be kept on that planet, as far as I know. At least, maybe there's a technology I develop later on that let me ship fuel... Uh, sorry, food from one place to another. Uh, oh! This building requires a grown population. Why don't I have a grown population on it? Apparently I wasn't paying attention. What a foolish man I am at times. The back end of our fleet has been fully repaired and now we are able to go back out and look for less scary things. Let's try going to survey the Grugmara system. Yeah, we really need to get that war fleet set up so we can start killing the locals. Maybe blowing up some of those clouds. And you're you're fixed as well. You, uh, the Makandur Science Fleet, led by Jarkim Den Piriam. I'm going to send you out to our anti-clockwise border. There is a system out there called Milistamu, the Milistamu system. I'm sure you will find a great many secrets worthy of your scientific mind, and not just a bunch of more dirt. Okay. And, oh great, now we have a mineral mineral production fleet here, whatever, mineral production thingy. So is there any other places we can send this? Our construction ship can head over here, move here. Because I think in him Himpra. Himpra, Himpra, Himpra. Yeah, Himpra 3 has another three-point mining station. So that's a good place for me to set this up. And then that should really get our production going a bit faster. I'm just going to basically focus on getting production going right now. Not going to build any more colony ships. Okay, who's this? Hostile fleet present. Um, fleet stance is aggressive. Uh, oh, that's a science ship. Passive. Uh, let's fleet. let's not hang out here. That's that's the void cloud. Oh yeah, wait a second. That's not a good plan. Passive. Macandor. Oh man. Damn it! Come back here. He's going all the way back. Why? Why doesn't he just jump to Navi? That's much closer. Okay. Sometimes I wonder. 
Sometimes I wonder what we pay you guys, because clearly you don't really follow this whole thing as well as you'd like. Uh, Theta Aliens. Oh! They have done some... something here. Oh! Oh, you know what happened? I bet you science happened. Oh, my leader gained a level, so therefore my borders expanded a little. Because I have mad leader skills, I guess my, uh... I guess my borders get a little bit bigger. That means there's more things I can exploit. Well, that'll no doubt annoy the oh, no doubt annoy the neighbors eventually. Okay, Mackinder, you head here first, and then we can perhaps leapfrog over the the demon of Saramore. The demon of Saramore is a giant cloud which scares the bejesus out of people, uh, and this will actually give us border range. So in five months, I'll do that, and then I will investigate the Theta aliens. The science ship is now investigating Grogmara. It's finding bits and pieces there. Hostile fleet detected. Research complete. Okay, now you... Not surveyed. Survey this system. So we're just going to jump straight over there and hopefully not have to worry about things. We have researched mineral processing. Gets us more mineral processing features and things like that. That's great. And so now, because I studied that thing, I have better research on nanocomposite armor. Right, so I start with research from just analyzing those things. We don't need to worry about that. I don't complete. think. And you now have... Okay. I thought I would have had three here, but clearly I miscounted. What about here? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. So I'm going to select the construction ship and say, Dude, build me a mining station here. We need all the mines in all the places. But Seganus... Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, Seganus has a place I can mine as well. I'll set that up when the opportunity arises. And then, once, uh, then I think, is the point where I'm going to start uh, building a fleet out that can really take down some of these... some of these threats so that we can actually investigate. Do we know how... What kind of threat these... Oh, wow. There's a lot of planets here. I think this science cloud was pretty dangerous. Okay, science ship under attack. Pausing things. Uh, okay. You... I should have had you on... I should have had this one on passive. You are so bold, but I need you to get out of there as quickly as possible. What is this? Ooh. That looks like an asteroid outpost. Oh, it's a pirate den! Uh, there was a reason I hadn't gone there, right? Because there was pirates. Well, good news is you can run away. You're going to be sending missiles after me, but I shall hopefully get out of here safely. Emergency jump initiated. You are going to repair yourself. We know that there's definitely hostiles there now. And we shall definitely build our fleet. Okay, at least uh, the construction ship is kind of busy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start building some stuff in the spaceport. Build Corvette. I'm building a little Widmer convert Corvette. Baby, it's much too fast. The first task force. He has. Oh, this guy's fast, I guess. It's extra sublight speed. This guy should be able to intercept things. Look at him. He's like a pro. I'm getting plenty of influence. You know, System if I decide that I want to... If I decide that I want to use my influence to initiate some policies, it'll be pretty good. Okay, the back end door is now going to head to the Millistar whatever system. You are being set to evasive again. So that's the danger. If you have it on passive, or sorry, on evasive, you can jump into the system, and as soon as you see a bad guy, you just turn around and go back. Which can be far from ideal. Okay, it looks like we found an empty system here. Good to know, good to know. Complete. Yes, that's good to know. And this is still building a mining station. And on the planetary surface, how are we doing? Let's clear this last one, clear that out. 
because we don't ha want to have any of that stuff floating around. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's great. So we actually have new population. We finally did get that. Proceed and complete. we can upgrade these buildings. We can upgrade this, and that'll give us more minerals. It's going to cost us 90, but... Uh, I mean, at least it's on a single planet. That's probably a bad deal, actually. Now that I think about it, I should have just gone for another base in space. The research lab I can also upgrade as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to get this force up to about 200 strength. And then we shall we shall head it out to deal with the pirate base. Oh, society research. We should investigate massive glacier removal. But actually, I'm also going to ask my society people to research the Theta aliens. I have no idea what they are, but I think they are over here. Uh, okay, and the Macandor is back in action. Going to jump out there, and then you can go to Nimozi. Maybe I'll go to Ad... Oh, no, you're going to go there. Or maybe we'll go... Move... Oh, wait, how, how come we haven't surveyed that system? Did we encounter an alien there? There are potentially habitable planets in this system. I'm going to leave you in evasive mode. How did I not notice I hadn't surveyed that? I guess these things happened. Fleet order finished, repairs finished. So the construction ship has finished building something and we're now just Resume waiting for complete. more. More research. We've unlocked deflector screens. And that might actually be a good thing for me to now upgrade our stuff. Planet fortification, energy storage, sentinel point defense. The best defense is a good offense. Let's do that. Um, these are countermeasures against missiles, which are really good if I'm fighting my own... Uh, people, I guess. That would have been really useful against the pirates, but so much for that. <sighs> How is it going in Biriam? The Pertham. No, it's Pertham system. Anomaly found. Atmospheric readings from Milstamal 2A do not match simulated projections. We should investigate this. We definitely should investigate this. A construction ship. Can you do some more... Hostile fleet detected. Yeah, I know. Hostile fleet. What's in the Doral system? Oh, yeah. What I'm looking for are places that might have, yes, three metal. So, Pakandar. Build a mining station. So, these are much richer because they provide three resources instead of two. So, they're pretty good value for money. Fleet detected. Okay, and definitely getting ton of energy building. We don't tend to build so spend so much energy on stuff, but it's you need it. And there's definitely like a, a balance. This is essentially money. Oh, we see this is the anomaly that we're researching. It's a uh, Valdrig Den Badir. And look at his mad skills here. Let's see what happens. 84, 86. We're about to find out what amazing secrets this atmosphere, atmospheric anomaly shows us. 98, 100. And immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Milstyle 2's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science Officer Valdrig Denbadir is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Fascinating! It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Eleven days as well to investigate the Theta aliens. More science coming in. And you, actually, Spaceport, can you build yourself... Oh, oh! Special project Ooh, wow, and now it's costing 98. Construction complete. The reports of extraordinary free-floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. The ship-size objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal-like satellites at first appeared inert, but suddenly shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they might be alive. A fascinating project to be sure, prospect to be sure, 
but they should be approached with caution. Our best and brightest are standing by to study these entities. Situation log update. I'm going to issue a special project to study these things. I'm definitely interested to know what you can tell us about these crystalline entities and whether we can blow them out of the sky and learn new amazing stuff. Okay, spaceport. Build me some Corvettes. So that is a more expensive Corvette because I'm guessing we now have deflector screen technology, which means we should probably upgrade our task force to have the new features. Yeah, it's going to cost us 60, so we're going to have to wait a couple of months for that. Let's just time accelerate and let that happen. Waiting System for it, survey. waiting for it. Oh, survey complete. You can. What, what research can you offer me? We can continue going that way. Normal speed once again, and minerals. Complete. That's great. Ah, oh, 113, that's excellent. Now, military fleet, we need you to upgrade yourself when the time arises. But 10 days time. Okay, what's in here? It's another thing, it's another cloud. The Crystalline Entities, the name itself a compromise between rival factions of Xenobiologists and Xenogeologists on Astashi, are most definitely alive. Some overly conservative members of the Agarian acad academic elite argue that they are silicate animate matter and that they have little in common with biological life. The vast majority of the Agarian Republic's populace reject that regressive perspective, instead turning their eyes towards the fascinating new horizon that the crystalline entities represent. They are, somewhat regrettably, solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign rarely seen with more than one sentinel, and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hierarchical relationships are lost on us. Which does not stop these dynamics from being the subject of fevered study on Ustashi. The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an early hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed, and it may appear as if those sporadic fluctuations in this charge alter the refractive properties of the crystal. So I could learn about the crystal sonar to my empire. That means we get instant survey. Oh, okay, that's interestingly. Or we can get prismatic lenses, which increases my research speed. Um, why can't I do both? Uh, I think I'll do that one because I'm not that... Okay, so we have another energy, energy, energy entity here. And I think, actually, this is probably a good time to take stock, and we shall come back in the next episode. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>